Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. Poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. You know the way. You can drive. You have the address? It's the alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. The cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. Only 21 years old. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. Kiss the blood, BD. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copy. Strangled, battered, naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road, bruising from a small man's shoe, Further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. If I can nail down a brand. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled.
May as well follow the trail. Find anything Antonia. Huh. Same as the library card. On it goes. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. That's got to be a code or a cipher. I think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. Where are you taking us? Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? He clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you once I got it. Or he might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. Trail points up. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. Son of a bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown.
It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, we've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Buddy, this officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. boarding house. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lepente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wop your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Did you look at that? Someone's turned the place over. Okay, we have an address. charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. The smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. So someone broke in using this thing instead of a crowbar. Wonder where it was taken from.
landlady looks like she means business. What do we want in her state? Let's go talk to her. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, Detective. I'll do my best. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, little on the religious side, but a good girl. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. The window's broken. The room's been tossed. You seem like the type of landlady who notices everything that happens under her roof. What gives? Don't take that tone of voice with me, young man. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. We didn't find any jewelry upstairs. You haven't pocketed any evidence, have you? That's outrageous. Are you accusing me of theft? Thanks, ma'am. You've been very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the Eldorado one. Nosy old hag? Ha! Ah, and I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth. How about we drop in on the husband instead? See if your gut is right. I'll take a bar over a husband every day of the week. Think there's anything to the divorce angle? I've been through three. After a while, you just numb yourself to the experience. But Angel, he's a young Latino man. It would hurt his sense of who he is. He'd see himself as a failure, a woman taking control over his life. Then she fronts him and he snaps. Works for me. That makes Angel a killer as well as a piece of shit.
Aldonado is in apartment 304. Now look, I don't want no trouble, see? Stay back, or I'll have to put you down. I got nothing to say to Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cop these sons of bitches, Phelps. L.A.P. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. Just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. The El Dorado must be a family favorite. This will take some explaining. <laughs> Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's movements. He's got no alibi, he's toast. No good. Nobody here. Hey, sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here, and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss... Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old hag, too, Phelps. Well-executed restraint. I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe the regulars, too. You should check it out. Any ideas? The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe the regulars, too. You should check it out.
KGPL, 11 King, over. 11 King, Captain Donnelly and Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown urgently request your presence at Central One. New letter has been found. 11K, en route. You don't think it's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking? No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story. Hello? Mm. Hi. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar, how can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah, me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Nope. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. I'll probably play that later. She was tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? Divorce papers? Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Hmm. Did she leave with anyone? No. She wanted a cab, but my payphone ain't working, so I couldn't call her one. Shit. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. Thanks. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have white feet. Where's that goddamn place? Help me out. What do you think? Search around. If Antonia was as messed up as we hear, maybe she left physical evidence as well as witnesses. You're a modest little person with much to be modest about. Sam has taken me to Palm Springs for the weekend. I just don't know how to dance to bebop. Sir, do you work here? Sorry, pal, just making deliveries. From where? Just pick fruit market across the street. A fruit market delivers here? Yeah, sure does. The Mexes love a little slice with their ticket. Crate a lot like the ones you're wheeling there, except it was filled with booze. This is up. Excuse me, I have to get on with this. Fine, thanks. Just picked fruit market. How many slices of lemon does this place go through?
If olive oil comes from olives, where does baby oil come from? So, uh, how's your tuna fish salad? I'm stumped. Ideas? You heard the call. Put your foot down. Skipper doesn't like to be kept waiting. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. These letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This black Dahlia guy. This fucking case just gnaws away at your guts. Holly. Every pro. The captain is waiting for you downstairs with Pinker. thing that's the guy i heard he's an honest cop <laughs> now that's an oxymoron for you boys come on in phelps have you met finnis brown pleased to meet you sir his information is confidential and doesn't leave this room the new letter was left in the back seat of a cab the driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all the spares back 24 hours regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. You've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. That's why we called you in. Do you think it's original? Not unless he's a genius. You like this nut job's poem? No, I like Shelley. It was written at least 100 years ago. Shelley? Sure, I knew that. You see, Finnis? I told you this lad was a bright boy. Sure, but what has it got to do with the case? Prometheus Unbound. Prometheus was a titan. A superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Wow, that looks like a few. I'm at a loss. Are you ready? I'm going to let this son of a bitch Maldonado have it. Improved your attitude, Angel? What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died. But she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long.
So if you didn't kill your wife, who did? You better come up with something, Angel. This doesn't look good. Fuck you. I love my wife. You're good, kid. You murder your wife and you just sit there as cool as a cucumber. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. You didn't want anyone else to have her. You didn't like the idea of other men fucking your wife, them slipping it to her, the idea that she might like it. Vete tomar por culo. Easy there, angel boy. Ease it back a notch. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that. What about the charm bracelet? Was she wearing that? You know about that? She never wore it. She didn't like the message. She kept it locked up in that box of hers. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself shaving. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolyta, he said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had to sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Fine. Where are we headed? What's your read on Maldonado? I still like him for it. Seriously, that line about the guy at the fruit market making eyes at his woman? Please. Now, we'll get to the market and the guy behind the counter will tell us he saw Angel drag his old lady off into the night. This case will be shut like all the others. Bag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Don't know how to dance to bebop. Sir, I'm to wait. You look familiar. Hey, from the bar, right? What brings you here? LAPD, Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? The young lady arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. 
Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. No wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Why cut someone who was already dead? It's a typical power thing. Once the stiff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. They must have seen it during the war. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Two, five, three. This guy right here is pretty um, suspicious now because he has this girl's watch or stuff. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain. He's in trouble. Damn it, get after him, Cole. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Phelps. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Phelps, you gotta get me closer. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. This game gets harder and harder. Cole, spin him out. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Sick man, Clem. You need help. <coughs> Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. 
I'll pay the fee and the personal visit myself and remind them the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. I had to take the box of the alcohol with him. That's hilarious. Sarge, why are the guys giving it to the doggy? They're riding in trucks, numbskull, while you're marching. They look pretty badly beat up. Yeah, they do it then. Scuttlebutt says it's pretty hard going down south. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Recon always leads. How can we fail, Skip, with the shadow leading the show? What the fuck is a shadow? Lieutenant Phelps, the shadow of death. What the fuck are you talking about? He's a quiet fucker, Sarge. You never hear the bastard coming. You're sitting there, field stripping a cigarette, and suddenly he's there looking down on you. Why do you think we keep saluting that jab loving son of a bitch? Bad juju. That's enough out of you three. Bad juju? Where are you dragged up? A swamp? Good morning, gentlemen, and what a grand morning it is, too. We have just cause for celebration. Galloway and Phelps are sending another fiend to San Quentin. A nice showy trial, and he'll be strapped down with gas seeping into his tiny reptile brain. Now, to fresh business. Galloway and Phelps, the task is at hand. The address is on the hill, north downtown off Fremont Avenue. Skipper, is the new letter genuine? Now, boys, we all know how many imbeciles have confessed in the short case. Ray Pinker will let us know in good time. Yeah, the bum took a swipe at me. Put him down with my side. That sure looks like a beauty. Greetings from sunny California. When's it gonna stop? You're behind the wheel.
fine morning indeed. We keep locking them up. The bodies keep piling up. Yeah, California's love a fad, Phelps. As long as the bricks hold up at San Quentin, there'll always be killers in this town to send. First the letter, and now another body. Come on, you can't keep on telling me there's not a killer still out there. You know, Phelps, all these arrests on your record are giving you a reputation. You don't want them turning into unsolved. Getting a vicious killer off the streets is more important than my reputation. Really? And besides, landing a big fat marlin is more impressive than an ocean full of minnows. The minnows make it the man, Phelps. You can't always hit home runs. Sometimes you just gotta make... That guy there will lead us up. I'm stealing myself for what I'm about to see. I'll just be another dead body. At least a soon. You're the gig when you're working homicide, Phelps. Detectives? Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Scene secure. The rest of the patrolmen are going door to door, canvassing for witnesses. Thanks. Keep me informed. Will do, Detective. This looks awfully familiar. I think that's the impression the boys from the Examiner took with them as well. There's nothing original under the sun. Why should murder be any different? What do we have so far? Not much trace evidence to speak of. Storm blew in around 10 last night, and the rain washed most of it away. And the body? Looks like she was tipped out of an automobile from the tire tracks and superficial injuries. Strangled with a length of rope. And for my money, it's triple braid again. Time of death. From her temperature, maybe 2 a.m., but it was cold last night. Usual head injuries. Blunt force trauma. Knock him over the head, then strangle and mutilate. No message with this one. At least she was left clothed. I doubt very much he was concerned with her dignity. The green silk dress is very distinctive. Any sign of her other shoe? No. And no handbag or other personal effects. Drag marks. The killer was moving around, surveying the scene. to me. Our driver and our killer are most likely one and the same.
Advice? Take a look around and see what you can find. I'll call you when I know something. Meanwhile, get on with the case. You're clear to work, detective. Detectives, I've been working the houses across the street and up the block. This lady thinks she has something for us. Detective Phelps, LAPD. I'm Mrs. Barton, Catherine Barton. I live just across the way. Did you see anyone around here last night? Not last night, but yesterday, early evening, I saw that awful hobo. Do you have a description? Tall, gaunt. Horribly disfigured. I think he may have had an accident in the war. He's a very scary, angry man. Any idea where we might find him? One of the hobo camps around here. He's some kind of hobo leader. They all follow him around. Thank you, ma'am. You've been a big help. Of course. Anything I can do to help. I'd hate to think that something so ghastly could happen right here and nothing be done about it. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? Missing persons reports for white females over the last 48 hours. One moment. We have three white females listed as missing, detective. Myrtle Douglas, 294 Whitmer Street. One Beatrix Rogers of 1152 West 4th Street. And a Mrs. Teresa Terrelson, 43 Emerald Street. Can you track down reports of hobo camps in the vicinity of Signal Hill? Just a moment, detective. There's a large camp under the bridge on Grand between Temple and Sunset. Thanks. Jesus, missing persons reports. We're going to be at this all night. I think we ought to investigate the hobo lead. Well, if you think we ought to, then I guess we ought. If we survive this, it's going to be a miracle.
We're looking for a tall man with a disfigured face. You know him? Huh? What? I fought in two wars, you know, son. I think I earned some peace and quiet. Ah, the bum isn't here. We should follow the only lead. These guys can wait. At least the rain stopped. You can change back into those white bucks now. Calling you stupid would be an insult to stupid people. This is a shot in the dark. How do we know someone even filled in a missing persons report for this day? We don't, but it's the only thing we've got to go on. Are you sure? Are you sure you searched the scene, Cole? I had a good look. No, I mean really searched it. You were there too. Ah, oh, Jesus, come on. I thought you were the goody two-shoes little prick in one of the crime scenes with a fine-tooth comb. Thought I could relax in my old age here, Cole. The rain must have washed away the clues that would have led us to her identity. I knew this weather was going to ruin my night. LAPD, sir. We've had a report of a missing woman. It's my wife. She's been missing for two weeks. How old is your wife? Uh, 16, nearly 17. And how old are you? Uh, 19. And you had been fighting? Oh, a little, I guess. She says she wants to go out and have some fun. And me, I'm working double shifts down at the Saval tool plant. Try the bars along Sunset. We're out of here. Hmm. Yes? Detectives Phelps and Galloway. 
Is your wife home, sir? My wife went out last night and she hasn't come home. Can you describe your wife and what she was wearing? We were out at a friend's place, Bobby Ross's, for a party. She was kind of dolled up. She had her green silk dress, open-toed white shoes. Those are her favorite shoes. Can we come in, Mr. Tarleton? I'm afraid we have some rather bad news. Do you have someone who can look after your children, Mr. Tarleton? I've been trying to arrange a sitter. Look, tell me what's happened. I'm afraid your wife was murdered last night. Her body was found this morning. We're very sorry for your loss. I know this is a difficult time, Mr. Tarleton, but we are going to need you to answer some questions. First, we're going to take a look around. What for? You don't think it's that... It's procedure. You see to your girls. Stay here till Daddy's finished talking to these men. Where's Mommy? Everything's gonna be all right, sweetheart. We would like Mommy to come home now, Daddy. What's the problem, Terrelson? Let him search. You got nothing to hide. You wanna hear something funny, Terrelson? Some bums think filling out a missing persons report actually rules them out as a suspect. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Check if she was a regular. I wonder why the picture was turned down. Circumstantial. I don't think so. Baron's bar again. Someone must be real sweet on this dive. If you'd excuse me, ladies. It doesn't appear to be connected. So she went out without her handbag? At least she was spared that particular indignity. She'd have to be in quite a state to leave this behind. We could see if Pinker can match the impression to the crime scene. I'll be out of your way momentarily, ladies. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you run an address for a Bobby Ross? Then send some uniforms over. Would you like him picked up? No. Suspect says he was with Ross last night. We need to confirm the alibi. I'll get a prowl car dispatched. Thank you. <laughs> 
For the record, Mr. Tarleton, what is your wife's name? Teresa. Do you have any idea why anyone would want to hurt your wife? No. Everyone loved Teresa. She was so full of life. It can't be anyone who knew her. So you don't know anyone who would want her dead? No, I don't. You said you went to a party at Bobby Ross's place? That's right, Bobby had a bunch of people over. We were having a good time. She said she was bored and decided to leave. You let your drunk wife leave the party and go off on her own? Look, I was hangry. I was having a good time. She has to go and ruin it. We always have to do what she wants to do. Last night, she wanted to go dancing. Any idea where? Where she always goes. Bar down on North Beaudry Avenue. Baron's Bar. She goes there, drinks too much, gets maudlin, and calls me. I go and bring her home. Mr. Terrelson, was Teresa happy at home? Yeah, I think she was. Spill it, Terrelson. We like the look of you for this, so you better give us something. We're at the party. She has a few and says she wants to go out dancing. We only have the sitter until nine. I get mad. I tell her to go ahead, but I'm staying. She storms out. Look, I'm doing well at cards. I hardly ever do well. I married her because she was so much fun, but now she drives me fucking crazy. What time did she leave the party? About 8.30, maybe a little earlier. When was the last time you saw your wife? Around 8.30. The card game at Bobby's was wrapping up. I played out my hand and drove home here. I paid the sitter and went to bed. Why did you only report your wife missing this morning? I thought she would have called up last night from the bar. Thanks for answering our questions, Mr. Charlton. You'll need to go downtown to identify your wife's body. I should have taken her dancing. In my experience, Mac, if you give in to broads, you'll be given in to them your entire life. Hey, Cole, let's get moving. Appreciate your time, sir. Hello. Can you believe this guy's story? Kind of rings true. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Gents, drink? Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. I'm Benny Clough. This is about Teresa Terrelson? Yes, it is. I heard about it on the radio. They're saying it was that Black Dahlia freak again? God damn it. Yeah, I rang that husband of hers. The babysitter said he was out. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. What time did Teresa leave? Uh, around uh, 10.30, I think. On foot? In a car? By bus? How was it? She called for a cab. Did you get the number? Sure I did. I like Teresa. The only time she has a drink is when things aren't going so good at home. I was worried about her. That cherry pie was delicious. Put out an APB on the cab. 3591. Should be traceable. I love these waitresses. 
Everyone's a dog. Who was she with? We've had reports about a tall, gaunt-looking hobo. He wasn't here last night? I get plenty of bums in here. But nothing to fit that description. The likelihood is that whoever she left here with killed her. Give it up, Benny. All right, two creeps were all over. Promising to take her dancing. You get a good look at these guys? Sure. I got a good look. One of them was a sailor in uniform. His cap said, uh, USS Indiana. And the other man? The other guy is Richard Bates. He's sitting in the back right now. Red polo shirt. Any idea where she was headed? Uh, nope. I didn't get that. The husband said she wanted to go dancing. And she always wants to dance when she's been drinking. She was trying to talk some guys into taking her to one of the dance halls. Thank you for your help, Mr. Clough. We'll take it from here. Hey, no problem. This is Bates? That's him. LAPD, don't make me chase you, shitbird. We can't let the son of a bitch get away. Would you recommend the special? Man? Go, Phelps, get after it. Hey, Come yeah, on, so we got a ride. Get in and drive. I thought you were going to leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. Shit, I hate that fucking crap. Come on, Phelps, you're letting this lust get away from you. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some where reason, the fuck they're they go? for routine. Do they go up here? He did not go up there. There's no way. Motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know where he went. Fucking went. God damn it, get after him, Cole. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered. We could have a killer on our hands. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Oh, motherfucker. God, this game. It's hard to chase these motherfuckers in this game. GTA is one thing, but this game is hard. Plus, it's nighttime. God damn it, it's get worse. after him, Cole. I thought you were gonna leave me there. Who knows what this guy will pull when he's cornered? We could have a killer on our hands. Hit him, Cole. Spin him out. I don't think the killer would be kicking back in the bar where he met the Vic in. Listen, a creature of habit is your killer. For some reason, they're sticklers for routine. Hit him! Clean this asshole off the road. Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tires. Let's end this farce. All right, all right, you got me. I've had enough. Give it up, LAPD. Dang, he fucked his okay, whole class. You're gonna answer up. some questions. I have a choice in this. <laughs> Last night, you went drinking with a lady in the bar. Now she's dead. And your face is all messed up. I'm in the clear on that. She preferred a sailor. You could lay it off on him. Are we finished? Do you want my partner to sap you? Tell us what we want to know. She was okay. Drunk. Pissed off at her old man, wanting to go dancing. I thought I'd ply her with a few drinks and get my end away. 
Looks like your salty had the same idea. So what happened when you left the bar? Sailor Boy laid one on me. A cheap shot. After that, I don't know. You've done time, haven't you, Richard? Is that why you ran? I'm on parole. On what offense? Sexual assault. Look, I was lying there on the sidewalk. He flags a cab and jumps in with the broad. We're taking you in, Bates. How come? Just for a chat. Nice, private chat. I'll explain my theory of once a degenerate, always a degenerate. Take him to Central. He's a material witness in a murder case. Find him a cozy cell. Richard here knows the drill. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an APB out on a yellow cab, number 3591. Ask dispatch to relay all sightings to car 11K. No problem. I'll get on the radio. Were there any incident reports filed in the vicinity of Barron's Bar on North Baudry Avenue? We're tracking a sailor who was involved in a fight outside the bar. I can check the reports, Detective. I have a message for you from Captain Donnelly. Message reads, James Jessup, U.S. Navy Able Seaman, has information relevant to your case. Jessup is currently being detained at Central Station. Could be our man. Thanks, ma'am. You can drive. Five. Where are we headed? He's in interview, too. Thanks. What do you make of him? Sailor on furlough, who looks like he's in trouble and knows it. That price is outrageous. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. My wife is so dumb. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. We know why you're here, Jessup. So it would be best if you answered our questions truthfully. I don't want any trouble. That's why I'm here. I heard on the radio about this lady getting killed. I got leave from my CO to come down straight away. So why did you kill her? I didn't kill anyone. Look, you need to believe me. Let's start at the beginning. You went to Baron's Bar. What time did you arrive? I got a 24-hour pass. I got there around 7. That's where you met Teresa Terrelson? Sure. We had a couple of drinks. So you tried to make a woman who was incredibly drunk? Look, I'm not proud of myself, but I never hurt her. You took her dancing? That's right. Caught a cab to the Crystal Ballroom. You had a fist fight with Richard Bates over Mrs. Terrelson. You met the guy? He's a creep. You should take a look at him for this. He's pointing the finger directly at you, Jessup. I only had one night before I was back in the tub. He had all the time in the world to look for some action. I belted him. I'd do it again. She was better off with me. Sure. You're a shining example of chivalry, Jessup. We're holding you till we can clear this with the driver. Yeah, my CO said as much. Can you put the guy in two in a cell and inform the commander? Sure, detective. Got a message for you. 
sighting of your disfigured hobo on Grand between Temple and Sunset. And it looks like the bow has a record, too. He's wanted in connection with two female assaults. Thanks. Can you drive to this one? And where exactly are we going? Three suspects in the can and one on the hoof. And still no hard evidence on any of them. HPL to car 11K. 11K, come in. 11K, go ahead. Car game is breaking up at 11K, roger that. Only have time to get downtown, Cole. It's possible. Have them bring him in. KGPL, could we have Lars Terrelson picked up? 11K, roger. Shotgun, holy shit. <clears throat> LAPD, we'd like a word with you. Save it for someone who's interested. They're fascists. Come to move us on and steal what little we have left. Six rounds won't get us far. I need you to stay copacetic. We need to hold out to the cavalry. How do we do that? Like this. Fuck you. Keep him down. If you want your rightful share, we need to fight for it. Staking red. What's your name? Comrade Stahl. Very funny. We'll find out from your personal effects. Stuart Ackerman. You're under suspicion for murder, Ackerman. We're taking you downtown. You. You can't do anything more than me than what the Japanese have already done. Kremlin's over here, Phelps. Toss it, see what you find. Still working, Jack. I'm off to the Lighthouse Club in Santa Monica. Hello, Jack. Mr. Vincent, this is Courtney Sheldon. It's a buddy of mine from the war. Well, I'm sure you two will want to polish some old war stories. Good evening, Jack. Mr. Sheldon. Good night, sir. Take a seat, Courtney. We need your help, Jack. I told you I would have nothing to do with that. I'm fine, too, Jack. Medical school's going well. I got a part-time job. Do dope peddlers need part-time jobs? We made a mistake and we're in trouble, Jack. A local gangster, Mickey Cohen, is putting on the squeeze. So hand it over, walk away. What's stopping you? We had a deal with them, that they would dole it out slowly. They said they would supply abortion clinics and doctors. But they've been moving it on to addicts, and they can't cope with the purity. So your problem is with gangsters being dishonest? My problem is that people are dying, and that if this gets back to us, we'll all end up in jail. So how am I supposed to help, Courtney? This isn't the war. I can't just wave a magic wand and clean up your mess. We want you to negotiate, Jack. The only thing these guys understand is force, Sheldon. They got to the top back east by proving to be more vicious than the English, the Irish, and the Dutch. They make their own laws. That's the nature of a secret society. God's sake, Courtney, you want to be a doctor. How can you fight with that? We are better trained, Jack. 
I didn't make it through the war to come back to this kind of shit, Sheldon. familiar. Safe bet it'll match the mark under Teresa Terrelson's chin. What now? Teresa's trail leads right to this cabbie's back seat, Phelps. We need to find it. The husband has an alibi, but no real motive other than neglect. Jessup's alibi checks out. Bates is a recidivist. He'll be pulling the same stick until we put him away for good. Ackerman has history, opportunity, hard evidence. What motive? We have the evidence. We know she was here. All we need is a confession, and we can charge the bum with murder. This officer needs help. Bank of America, 7th and Olive. Shire and Whitmer. What? That's a guy from the papers. Saw that big case. We're going this way. One nice thing about egotists, they don't talk about other people. You ask me, he's guilty. You can never trust a sailor.
I think I ought to talk to an attorney. So what next? Come on. If Ackerman won't play ball, I'll rattle his teeth until he does. No good John with me, detective. He ran the light on Olympic, and we finally collared him on Temple. I'm at a loss. Come on. If Ackerman won't play ball, I'll rattle his teeth until he does. So, you gonna see your married man again? Ackerman, you were in the Marines. How do you know? The Corps selected big guys for flamethrower duty. That's how you got the burns. Life expectancy was five minutes for a guy in flamethrower detail. What kind of a government puts weight like that on a man's shoulders? You'll get no argument from me. It was a heavy load. You feeling sorry for this smelly fuck? Why did you kill Mrs. Terrellson? I have no recollection of the people I have killed. You hate women, Ackerman. More than you could ever imagine. How much did you hate Mrs. Terrelson? I ache to put my seed in them. Afterwards, I have no use for them. A bus driver dropped Mrs. Terrelson near your camp around 2 a.m. Why did you take her up to the hill? Which hill? I have many places. I go where I please. Hmm. You are clearly insane, Ackerman. The state of California does not execute mental patients. I don't know the names of the women I've killed, but I've killed many of them. Their necks are so fragile. Stuart Ackerman, I am charging you with the murder of Teresa Terrelson. A man down on his luck, I can abide. But a filthy red who chooses to live outside the rules of society, I cannot stomach. Maybe poor threes of Tarleton will provide the catalyst we need. I've spoken to the chief and the mayor, and I think it's time we send some men in to remove the godless and send them on their way over the county line. A grand day that will be, gentlemen. And a grand result you have brought me. You two are fast becoming my finest crusaders.
we will look into it. Yes, I'm aware that it's an election year. Keep a hold of your hat, Counselor. Now is not the time to lose your nerve. It would appear that someone has hocked a rose gold wedding ring, a matching engagement ring. Sound familiar? Deirdre Muller. Press the pawnbroker and see what you can find out. The address is 348 South Main Street. The Muller case goes before the grand jury next week, and the DA does not want any egg on his face. Then get out to the railroad depot on Santa Fe Avenue. We have another poor unfortunate found this morning beside a railroad line. Forty-year-old white woman. Right, Skipper. Another body and Deirdre Muller's ring. The Emperor may soon have to come to terms with the fact that he's wearing no clothes. What exactly did you get that book of riddles shoved up your ass, man? Is that what your old man paid college tuition for? You've got to admit, this is looking odd. Anyone could pawn a ring. But if you take it along with all of the other indicators, Cole. Hugo Moeller was identified by the school's groundkeeper. He's our guy. Witnesses have fingered the wrong guy before. He ran, for God's sakes. And he always maintained he was set up. Detectives Phelps and Galloway, LAPD. You have a rose gold wedding and engagement ring? David Bremner. Am I gonna get something for this pledge? Gave that bum money, now you guys are gonna leave me short. How much did you give him? 50 bucks. Try another number. 20? Try 10. Feel lucky you're getting it. I have the rings right here. Mark here. Maker's Mark. Usually traceable. That one came from Hartfield's Jewelry down on Broadway. Thanks for the tip. Does this mark mean anything? All mark. Gives you an idea of the quality. What have you got on the guy who brought these in? Goes by the name of Percy B. Shelley. Gave an address. 15 Poland Street, London, Tulare County. Can you give us a description of the man who pawned these rings? Not sure. Medium height, medium build, dark hair, I think. Sorry. He just had one of those forgettable faces. We'll be in touch, Mr. Bremner. We have a problem. We could have the local troopers check out the Tulare County address. The address is bogus. The perp is having fun with us. The guy who's been sending the Dahlia letters is also the guy who pawned these rings. How do you figure that? Percy Bysshe Shelley wrote the poem that came with the Dahlia letter. The Dahlia letters are genuine, and the man who killed Elizabeth Short may have also killed Deirdre Muller. And how do we prove that, Phelps? No. Skipper ain't gonna like this one bit. We're gonna have to rely on this guy tripping up on his own vanity. Any 
Central Unit, car 16F reports a possible jumper at 8th and Hope, the Methodist Church. <laughs> You boys ready? Follow me. We should keep this development with the rings. Wear a hat until we speak with the captain. We're all on the same team, Russell. Chain of command, Phelps. The skipper will decide who needs to know. You got it? Hard, isn't it? Yeah. I look after all the rail depots. What have you got? The Negro, Nelson Gaines, called it in. I came down here to make sure him and the other guy, Jameson, stuck around. Jameson found the body? Something like that. Guy makes me sick. We'll talk to the coroner. Keep an eye on both of them. What are you thinking, Ray? The city keeps tossing us dead bodies. We're just running to catch up. Someone was trying to get her to come home. could go over to the lot and see what they know about her. That's going to be difficult, Cole. Keystone Studio lot closed back in 41. Maybe someone at Mensch's will remember her. Shit for personal items, not booze. It's an angle worth investigating. Blood splatter on the carriage. She must have been struck while standing up. What have we got here? White female, approximately 40 years of age, lipstick smudges on the face, but no writing, at least nothing legible. A blunt force trauma to the temple, nose, and eye regions. Ligature marks point to the probable cause of death being strangulation. Any idea of the time of death? From her temperature, after midnight would be my guess. The smell? Very good. There is the usual evacuation smell, but it appears she's been living rough for quite some time. Very strong smell of alcohol. Well, the autopsy will tell, but I would assume that she was inebriated. A 
Another missing ring. <coughs> Certainly seems I've been swabbing a lot of bare fingers recently. Can you be more exact about the time of death? No later than 2 a.m. The state the body was in, a one or two hour window is the best I can do. hard case I need to break. Good morning, ladies. Detective Phelps, LAPD homicide. John Ferdinand Jameson. We need you to answer some questions, John. If you don't mind, I prefer Ferdinand. Don't push your luck, knucklehead. What were you doing to the body, Ferdinand? Are you sure you won't be upset? Try me, Ferdinand. I was kissing her. You're Against beating it? like a man. Turn out your pockets, Ferdinand. Classic Carmine. Is this yours, Ferdinand? No. I found it near her purse. I thought she could use some lipstick. Rusty, stop! Don't hit him. You uh, went through her purse? It wasn't like she needed it. I took a look. Did you take any money? It wasn't any to take. I found her lipstick and her matchbook over on the mat. Not much else. You found the body? Yes, I did. I work here. I was coming off shift and headed home. Why didn't you report the body, Jameson? Do you know how this is going to look to a jury? A jury? What gives? I, I could tell that she was dead. I came through here about midnight last night. She wasn't here then. Let me belt him again. You're under arrest, Jameson. We'll see how this plays out. Until then, you can think a little on how you'd like to be treated if you were found dead. I'm telling you, it's not illegal. Me and some friends of mine... Clyde, can you get this sack of shit into a cell? I'll deal with him later. Sure, Rusty. <laughs> Master motherfucker. Any ideas? Detective Phelps and Galloway, homicide. Can you tell me exactly what happened? We were shunting cars over to the main line when I saw this man here lying on top of this woman. The woman wasn't moving and seemed to be in a bad way. What time was this? About 7.30 this morning, sir. Thanks for your help. Have you given Patrolman Hart your details? I have, sir. Thank you. You can go now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need an address on Levine's Liquor, closest store to the Santa Fe Avenue rail yard, if possible. Just a moment, Detective. Closest store would be the one at 939 South Hope Street. Thanks for your help. I'm stumped. Ideas? I say we try the liquor store next. I could get a short dog for the car. 